I'm Stan Woodward with the Woodward Family Foundation. My name is Chris Bird, and I am the Director of Jazz Studies here at Collin College and also the Artistic Director of the Texas All-Star Jazz Camp. When we first started this camp, what we were going for is to try to emulate the best features of the old Kent clinics. When I was finishing my master's degree at the University of North Texas, I got invited to start teaching at a camp. And after teaching there for a couple years, it, it was just cool. And it was like, you know what, we need to do this at our college. When Chris came to me with the idea to start this camp, I was really excited because I actually went to one of the last Kenton clinics back in 1977 uh, with the entire Stan Kenton band. It was an amazing experience. And what blew me away is we had full access to the band for the entire week. And so we wanted to do the same thing here. We wanted to have kids come in and spend an entire week with some of the best players we could find. And that's what we've done here with the uh, Texas All-Star Jazz Camp. So we started the camp in 1994, and the camp has been going strong now. This is our 17th year of doing a big band jazz camp here at Common College. Our staff comes from all over the country. We have folks from New York, uh, from New Mexico, from Phoenix, from New Orleans, from the Missouri area, and a whole lot of the faculty are, are, are student colleagues of mine who went through the very famed jazz program at the University of North Texas. I equate this camp in some ways to like a baseball fantasy camp. So the students, the kids and the adults, get to come to this jazz camp and they get to hang out with jazz performers that they've, they've seen on recording and the students not only get to learn from these faculty members, they get to actually eat lunch with them, they ask questions with them, they see them in the hallway. And I, and I really, really love that aspect of, of the intermingling between the students and the professional player teachers that we have. My name is Stockton Helton. Tom Burchill. John Davis. Kevin McNerney. Miles Schoes. Micah Bell, uh, actually from Rowlett. The University of North Texas. Fort Worth, Texas. A director of Jazz Studies at Phoenix College, located in Phoenix, Arizona. Professor of Music at Collin. I'm the Director of Jazz Studies at the University of Colorado in Boulder. I am a trumpet instructor. I'm a guitarist. I teach saxophone. Trumpet player. Trombone player, and I'm a happy member of the faculty of Big Band here. I think the thing that makes this camp unique is that all the people on staff here are great players, but all the people on staff are also really great instructors. And it's important to have both. People who play and inspire with their playing, but then people who can sit down and explain what they're doing uh, when they're working with the students. Because these are terrific professional players and teachers. Just amazing, and it's, it's wonderful that these kids get to work with such great faculty, and myself included, that I get to work with such great faculty. It's really a blessing. I like teaching here at the camp because we always get great kids. First of all, it's the kids. It's all about the kids. I get to see and work alongside and play alongside these fabulous musicians. And there are enough students who come back to the camp from one summer to the next that you get to observe the change and the growth in their musicianship. If you come year after year after year to a camp like this, you're going to become very, very skilled. And it's just amazing now. The bottom doesn't feel like the bottom anymore in terms of skill level. We have very skilled kids at young ages come. Here you get a, a group of kids who really enjoy and want to be here and want to learn. Because when you think about it, you know, if, during the summer, what do most kids do? Not a whole lot. So it's cool that the kids are actually here, they want to learn. One of the reasons we patterned this camp after the original Kenton Clinic was that it forced the kids to kind of get out of their normal uh, process of being with one or two people and get them in a big group setting. And not only you have to improvise, you've got to learn um, you know, what jazz is all about, but you've got to play in a group. To me, the purpose of having a, a big band camp is you're teaching students skills that they can then take back to their high school or their junior high or their college programs. A camp like this sustains kids who are in those programs because this is a very special, unique thing that focuses on one specific thing, which is jazz. We are the only big band jazz camp in the area. It's the place to go if you really want to learn how to play in a big band, and all the kids are playing in big bands. Improvisation is important. It's one of the things that sets jazz apart from every other style of music is the amount of improvisation in jazz. The jazz improvisation gives everyone the opportunity to instantaneously compose, to create on the spot. 
it's one of those things that if, if you're not familiar with it, especially when you're younger, it seems like a very daunting task. Like how, how am I going to be able to do that? Or that, that seems so out of reach. And what we try to do here is show people the joy of jazz improvisation, as well as showing them some very logical approaches to improvising. And I think that's the secret to, you know, good jazz is really great improvisation. And for kids that want to do jazz, kids that want to be successful in their high school programs, kids that want to be successful in their middle school programs, kids that want to be successful in college programs, or they want to be professional players, a camp like this is just awesome. When the students come to the camp, they get more information than they can really digest in the course of five days. But that's great because then they have stuff that they can take home and then work on for the next year. But when the students leave the camp, I think what we are hoping they take with them is a sense of inspiration. Inspiration. Inspiration and, and some knowledge to do something with that inspired feeling. Knowledge that they need that can help them not only implement what they've worked on here at the camp, but things that they can work on in the future to continue to grow and to continue to improve as jazz musicians. I love nothing more than seeing a student come back the second or the third or the fourth year and be able to see just how much they've improved from the year before. This is just the beginning for a lot of these kids. It's absolutely amazing and really, really heartwarming to see some of these kids get so much better every year. If you're just discovering the beginnings of jazz or if you're very accomplished, we're all kind of discovering jazz together. Um, wherever your ability is at, you can feel comfortable here.